Hey everybody, Greg Reinhardt here from GRB Academy. Episode five, the role of college prospect videos, what you need in them, how colleges view them. You hear the pitter patter upstairs of feet or kids yelling, those are mine, as we survive social distancing. Anyways, college prospect videos, I think these are a good thing. Recently, we implemented in our organization at GRB Academy a um, every high school player has one that we build. We actually build two a year. We use Prospect Film Room for organizations looking for uh, videos. I think Prospect Film Room is a great company um, that does really, really good work. So um, for the individual player, if you're not in our organization, how to build a video, they can be simple. They are um, good for your emails to colleges, which was episode four. I think most colleges prefer video in an email because it is a starting base. It is the most important piece, probably, I shouldn't say that grades, but it is an important piece of your resume. It's your cover letter um, and it shows your skill sets. Things, I know some people when they make videos have an opening that, that says their name, height, weight, all that. I don't know if you necessarily need that. I think you can put that in the email when you send it out. Um, things you don't need, stats, no music. I don't think anyone needs music. But your video to college coaches is used to open their eyes. They are looking for certain things from your video. They want to see how your body moves. They want to see what the skill sets look like right now. And a big piece of this is they will have to see you again, but it opens their eyes because they use the word, and I think everyone uses the word, translate. How does your skill sets from your video translate into real game action? So they will have to come see you, but certainly, um, can show skill sets that maybe some others don't have or things they're looking for and that will interest them in coming to see you. Inside your video, very simple. If you have a place where you can run a 60, you should run the 60. If you have something that times you or put a credible time, that's fine. Otherwise, coaches can watch that video and hand time it themselves. You need a 60 yard uh, dash, which is obviously used in baseball. Fielding. Video of yourself fielding five balls, six balls. Show your actions, whether you're a first baseman, shortstop, outfielder. Whatever position you play, show yourself fielding from that position. If you're a catcher, you'll need to show yourself, you know, doing pops to second base. Um, and if you're a pitcher, you're going to obviously want video of yourself throwing. When you do the fielding video, or the catching video, they're looking at your arm action. They're looking at your fielding mechanics and your arm action, making sure your arm works. When you are hitting, you should videotape yourself from the open side. If no one knows what that means, that means the side that you are facing. Do you not want to see a video of your butt or your back? When you are throwing on a mound, you also want to be videotaped from the open side. In the hitting video from the open side, it shows how your hands work how your body moves, momentum shift, weight shift. That is what they will see from that side video. If you have an opportunity to include swings from the backside, I do think that is important. From backside, I mean from where the catcher would sit um, so that they can see the ball come off of your bat. They can see the ball travel and the flight of the ball. All in all, I think videos should be 45 seconds to a minute and a half. Um, pitching videos over if you're right-handed pitcher, if you can show videos from your own side and then over your back right shoulder so they can see the ball come out of your hand and what the shape of the pitch looks like, those are the two angles you would want to use to show all of your pitches, show what they are, meaning using hand signals forward, you know, turn it over for a breaking ball or pull it back for a change up. Um, some people have the ability to have their um, velocities off of velocity board in videos. Those are good as long as it is being used by a credible 
um, radar gun. Stalkers are the best ones. Um, and then lastly, if you have in-game footage, a couple clips of yourself hitting, that's fine. I think those are good. I think the reason they'll get to see you in-game and make an adjustment of the play, something like that, but the biggest thing that most people are going to do is they're going to watch you run home to first or home to first with the turn on the double, and they will be hand-timing it because that is in-game speed. There are obviously people who are great at running the 60 but don't move fast in games. And there's obviously people who are not great straight line runners um, but are really good in game going base to base. So if you do have some in game video, you can put a clip or two of yourself in there. So very simple rundown 45 seconds to a minute and a half. Have yourself running if you can. People want to see how the body moves. Have yourself fielding. They want to see how you field the smoothness. They want to see you throw, how the arm works, how the body works when you throw. Have yourself hitting from the open side and if possible from behind you so that they can see the ball travel. That's it. Hitting video or pitching video, 10 to 15 pitches. If you have the ability to show velocity and it's truthful, show that. If you have rap soto, even better. Um, I think rap soto you can put in hitting and um, pitching videos, 10 to 15 pitches, show all your pitches. It's fine. So that is how I think you should build your videos. They go great in emails because reading an email is great. If someone says they want to be in my place, seeing them gives me, not me, gives college coaches insight on if your skills play at that level. So that's episode five, how to make your own prospect video. It can be made on an iPhone, it can be made on a camera, it doesn't matter, but that's how you make your own prospect video that can accompany what episode four talked about, which is your emails to colleges. So um, I hope that helps. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to email me, greg at grbacademy.com. And please subscribe to our YouTube page as we continue to put out awesome content for those looking to go through the recruiting process, have a good day.